Hey guys, I bought Tractor Supply way back in 2021, uh, right after the pandemic, right in the middle of the pandemic actually. And today I, I just did a lot of research on Tractor Supply and I wanna tell you why I still think that this is a buy. I mean guys, this is a fantastic dividend stock. I'm gonna give you three reasons in this video, three reasons why I think this is huge. All right, guys, so Tractor Supply is a retailer that dominates the rural lifestyle niche. Despite its high valuation in indices like the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100, Tractor Supply presents a unique investment opportunity. That's why in this video, I'm giving you three reasons, guys. Three reasons why I think the Tractor Supply is a, just a, a, a buy, why I think it's such a huge investment. Let me tell you uh, what they offer though first. First of all, they've got an attractive long-term share price appreciation. They've got solid growing dividends. They've got strong future dividend growth potential. Let's talk about that current valuation because um, I wanna give you the negatives uh, so that you know everything about this company before you invest anything in here. So Tractor Supply trades at 26 times earnings, which is a lot lower compared to other leading retailers like Costco, Walmart. This is the reason for the lower valuation. They've had a slower year-over-year -year growth rate for the company. Their second quarter net sales increased only by 1.5% year-over-year. Their comparable store sales, and guys, this is an important metric that I wanna talk about. Their comparable store sales, that's the sales at stores that have been open for at least 12 months. Their sales decreased. 0.5%. In other words, without new stores opening, sales would have actually declined. And what I think this is, is it's a temporary headwind. I think that they benefited, Tractor Supply benefited significantly during COVID-19. And I mean, they had a large growth in new customers, increased customer spending at its stores. Consumer spending patterns though are now normalizing, causing a temporary headwind and they're trying to shift back to services over goods. But this is what I think. I think that the current headwinds are moderating. Consumer spending levels on services and goods are nearly back to pre-COVID trends. Their comparable store sales could bottom out, guys, within, I'm thinking one to three quarters, and we should see the bottom of their comparable store sales. This is their long-term goal. Comparable store sales growth of four to 5% annually and they plan to open 90 new stores per year, and that's gonna support their overall growth. Their valuation, again, guys, it's very attractive at this price point given its potential for recovery and growth. And let's talk about those dividends. And I'm gonna end the video, guys, giving you the three big reasons, kind of package it all together. Gotta to talk about those dividends, though. Dividend yield currently is 1.6%, but it's significant growth um, it has led up to this 1.6%, but I think there's a lot more to come. Companies paying out right now only 41% of its earnings as dividends, and they have the potential to increase payout ratios as the company matures. They've demonstrated commitment to dividend growth, guys. Their divi Look at the last five years. Last five years, dividends have tripled, guys. That's insane. Since 2010, Tractor Supply has consistently increased its dividend prioritizing shareholder returns. Okay, these are the big three reasons when I package it all together. And guys, I'm not buying more tractor supply today. I'm holding mine from 2021, but I just went over the, the stock again. That's why I want to share with you all these, these things. And that's why I still think this stock is a buy, even, at, um, e even though it's been three years since I bought it. All right, tractor supply, attractive long-term investment for three reasons. Number one, they dominate a straightforward, understandable, rural lifestyle market. They are the winner in their niche. They are, I mean, they've got a, they've got a moat. They're big. And this is, this is the philosophy, guys. Winners win, right? I mean, think about like football. Think about Tom Brady, right? You're putting your money on Tom Brady because winners win. That's what I'm thinking, number one. Number two. They're trading at a reasonable valuation, especially compared to their peers. Okay, that's a huge thing, guys, huge thing. Um, and number three, 
they're offering a dividend with strong growth potential a lot of potential for that dividend to grow over the next five years okay guys so they're a winner number two good valuation great valuation number three a dividend that looks like it could grow as the company matures all right guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like show some support for the channel guys um hit me up in the comments let me know what you think about tractor supply and hey guys like i said i'm not buying more tractor supply this week if you want to know what stock i'm buying this week subscribe to the channel actually tomorrow i'm coming out with a video because i'm going to buy some stock on monday so i'm going to i'm going to pump out that video let y'all know what stock i'm buying tomorrow it's going to be huge all right guys um excited about it guys this is i'm pumped up about it uh subscribe you want to know the stocks that i'm buying guys because dude i get so pumped up about the companies that i buy into all right have a good one i'll talk to you later um yeah i'll be back with another video tomorrow peace